Good evening. My name is Ben Roberts. I'm your host tonight with Tom Albert. We got Connor up on cameras, and it's going to be one heck of a game. We are at the Good Now season. Just about to get started. Beautifully sung by Tom Alber. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Keeping Access Television. Tom Alber, Ben Roberts joining me on the mic tonight. Heck yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Doubling up duty and uh, Connor Mavius on the camera. So kind of a smaller crowd for FCAT tonight, right Ben? Yeah, it's a little small, but hey, we make it work. Yeah, hey, otherwise it would just be me and you if Connor didn't <laughs> show up. So hey, we'll make we'll make do with what we got. One way or another, we make a village. <laughs> yep. All right, so not the biggest of crowds tonight, but you know, Owen Bab and uh, number 15, Anthony Coran, will be jumping for the ball. And tipped, wind's gonna go. Ooh, almost out. Ooh. Wow, what a nice save there. That was a great Ryan way to start. Yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> over and back at Gasar Carey. Right out of the gate. Yeah. Only took eight seconds off the clock. <laughs> so you know, very me very meaningful at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm very impressed with the fans that showed up tonight. You know, hey, these are these are the the solid fans, right? Tiny but mighty, just yes. like us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I came from the ski slopes, and Ben came from bed. Heck yeah. <laughs> Ooh, three by Neath Ooh. Go Zulu. Rebound, Max Millet, put back is hey. good. So that'll be the first four, two points on the night. 7.30 remains in the first quarter. Max Millet with the points there, and bringing up the quarter is the deal. Gonzalez, nice little give and go, go. good ball movement, wow. Number one, Ryan Hill on. Laying the kid to bed. <laughs> good night. <laughs> 7-10, the score is 2-2 in the first quarter. Good ball move by now Malat with it. Over to Owen Babb, down low, post move. He'll go up. Oh, no foul called. And number 15, Anthony Coran going the other way. Stopped on a dime. Yeah. I, I don't, it may have been a travel call or something, but the three that would have not counted was. You gotta be authorized for a vacation. <laughs> Oh, Ben's making my night right now. <laughs> 6.55 to go, two to two. Garrett Dredge will have it. He's got time, they can slow it down. Alex Ellis now. Over to Fasulo, good ball movement by the Red Ox. Fasulo loses it, but he gets control again. And now Millette, top of the key, he'll go to the basket. Owen Babb now, around 12 seconds on the shot clock. Dredge with it, back to Owen Babb, good give and go. A little closer. Yep, Ellis. Only five. Nice, Owen oh. Babb. Yes. Make it with the paint. <laughs> yeah. Owen Babb, he'll get in there. He'll get on the board. Four to two is the score with 6.20 to go. Number two, Jadil Gonzalez with it. He's going to go left. Started by Fasula. Get a screen. Little give and go. Now with it is Anthony Coran. He'll go up for a jumper. No good. Getting the rebound. Offensive board, though, in traffic. And they're going to call a foul, but... That was a good job by, uh, was it number five, crashing the boards? Well, he's bringing it back out. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that was Brandon Paquette, French name. Oh, 34 with the three. Ooh, swish. Michael uh, Mahan, he'll get a three, and the Terrells get their first lead. And that foul was on Max Mutt, first of the game by both teams. Five. 45 to go now. Millette with a nice move. He'll go to the basket and they're going to try. Yep. Unfortunate. Very. So, 5 43. Scores 4 to 5. Terriers lead by one and it's their ball. What are your thoughts so far, Ben? Well, here's the thing. I'm seeing a little bit of copying from Team A and Team B here. But then at the last second, they try to mix it up a little bit. You know? Yeah. Like. Frontier goes into the paint, they bounce around for a while, but then West Side ends up going into the paint, does a fake, then tries to shoot it. Oh, was that Vasulo for three? That was. Nico Vasulo, he's on the board with the three, seven, five. Frontier leads by two, it's five, ten to go. Yeah, I mean, hey, whatever works, this is gonna be a good basketball no, what, no matter what. Oh, absolutely. And shot, jumper, Ooh. wow. Tied it up. Yeah, that was number two, Jadil Gonzalez. He gets on the board. Tied up, sevens apiece. Ellis, you look for the three pump fake, kill dribble. I think that's his second time doing that. Yeah. Oh. And on the ground. Millette, oh, where's the rebound? Come on, Frontier. Box out. Right, Ben? Nice and easy. Yeah. I bet it's that rebound machine they have. <laughs> yeah, they got it. All, Ellis and Bab, as well as Millette, they just got to get in there and try to rebound. Absolutely. Only way to get the ball is to grab the ball. Exactly. Oh, Millet almost comes with a steal. Jumper, no good. And Bab will get yet another rebound. He's got a bunch of those on the night already. Oh, go for the two. three. Oh, oh, yep. That is unfortunate. That strap. Get good. <laughs> 4.18 to go. You know, my wreck basketball days, I sunk three L's a day. Yeah, just get good. Yeah, just get good. Man. It's so easy. It is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, it's good to have you here, Ben. I'm glad you're on the mic. Hey, it's good to have fun every once in a while. Yep. 
Alec Echo, shout out to him if he's, you know, he called me last night, but Ellis, oh, rebound Ooh. by Brandon Paquette. He's got at least three of those on the night. Another offensive board. Frontier's got to do something differently. Strasser Dragicevic is on the car now. Ball's loose. Max Malone will come up with a steal. He has Basilo behind him. Yep. Oh. Yeah, they're going to call a blocking foul. It was either on number 34 or 15. Yep. <laughs> His first foul, team's first. And uh, still tied at sevens, Ben. Good 14 points in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good multiplication there. Oh, yeah. Seven times two. So hard. Yes. <laughs> seven plus seven. Same hey, points. that's not multiplication. Yeah, that's addition. Yeah. Well, that was that one. Frontier pulse ahead. Yeah, by one. By Uno. <laughs> See if they can make a dose. Or un de trois. Or if he has a skill issue. Ooh. No skill issue. Malek with four points on the night. He goes two for two at the line at around 348. Uh, so 335 left to go. Frontier leads by two. It's definitely interesting having not a big crowd here tonight. We do see, oh, shot three. Ooh, close. Oh, in and out. Ball's loose, though. Frontier can't buy a rebound. And they got a reset. Yeah. Uh-oh, deep three by number two. That was uh, Jadil Gonzalez. Yeah, Frontier's Josh Marks with a good time out there. I mean, they got to talk. And one thing I was going to mention, I mean, you know, you got Harvard Modesto in the crowd. You got Aiden Dredge, Ian Burt. Uh, looks like... Gonna need some students. binoculars. Yeah, good students. My eyes aren't that good. No. The fan section, though, the family fans are out, out and about. You know, I saw Scott Dredge here. He's born in Sunny. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, the other side, West Side's got some, some family out here, so... Uh, I think we got more frontier parents than uh, West Side. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well... 9 to 7, 318 to go. They're going to take a quick break. So we, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Me and Ben Roberts having a good time tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> As Connor maybe is here too. Oh, and Bab, nice break, press break. Led up to Ellis now. They had that Suya there, but Stuck he, in the corner. Yeah, got it, nice. Oh, and Bab, up, no good. He'll get all his own rebound, put back, good. Mr. Tower. <laughs> yeah, he's a skyscraper as Mason Smith calls him. Pre oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even the player didn't know. Yeah, oh wow. But he'll but make he made it work. <laughs> Brandon Paquette. He'll get Harris first two points on the night. The score is 11 to 9, 245 to go. Basulo to Bab to Ellis. He had the three. He had time. Ball almost lost his dribble. Get it back in the corner. Yeah, Basulo. He'll find he'll these are a little kick back fouls. The rest aren't calling it though. Millette with their Tetsuya. Out to great ball movement. Yeah. Good bounce pass is Ben. Absolutely. Oh, Bab, he'll go up and foul. Yes. I would just like to point out, those were almost all bounce passes, and yeah. none of them got stolen. Yes, and uh, you know what happened last night? The girls had trouble with in the fourth quarter. Oh, was it passing? It was passing, Oh, ben my God. They it's did. almost like bass, pa uh, sorry, bounce passing works. Yes, it will break the press. We'll see what happens in the state. Oh, well, and Bab will miss that one, but uh, picking up the foul is number 15, Anthony Coran. 222 to go. That's a nice number. 222. 222 with 11 to 9, and fouls is 2 to 1. Should be. Bab will go 1 for 2 at the line. A little bit of confusion. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and he dropped it. Oh, oh, what? Jump ball. Yeah, good call. In the air. Yeah. You couldn't pay me to do that. <laughs> I'm just fly, flail about. 
But the score is 12 to 9, 217 to go for Mo Babs uh, free throw shot. It's looking like an office building, people just standing around. Yep, they got to move. Let's see what they do. It's a bad. That will drive. Put it up and in. Nice and easy. He's got seven on the night, Ben. He's got half a front two points. Oh, Millette comes up with a steal. Nice pass. Fasulo. Good. Oh, what? Just rolled across. That was tough. Going the other way now is number 34, Michael Mahan. Go up 15 or 5, Brandon Paquette. He's got two baskets, kind of like the same thing. 14 to 11, 154 to go. We got Coach's head in his hand. Oof. Yeah. Anyways, Coach Morris, he's going to drop a play. He's grabbing the clipboard, and then, uh, you know. That's we're dangerous gonna, right there. Yeah, that is very dangerous, but that's a good thing. Uh, we're going to quickly thank our sponsors, uh, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Riddell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Shout out to my mom, by the way, uh, if she's listening. And uh, you can call her at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100, or visit alberthearing.com. Uh, and uh, give my mom a call, or one of her uh, employees. They'll help you out with some hearing aids. And we're sponsored by FCAT. Oh. We're sponsored by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Actually, I think they're coming right back. Yeah, they are coming right back. So we'll just stick it here. Stick, take it here. Uh, can't speak. <laughs> the clipboard is still out. Mm. It's going to be warning number one. I see a finger on that clipboard pointing angrily. That would be, yeah, that'll do it. So they're going to drop some play. I mean, it worked for them. We'll see if it works. 154, still 14 to 11. The score's not changed because of that yep. timeout. Luke ha uh, Ooh, right through the middle. Yeah, these are all bounce passes. Millette, Jared Dredge, Look, had Fasulo, he still has him. He should have, drive, shot is good! Woo! Garrett Dredge gets on the board. 16 to 11, see if they can break Frontier's press. They do, going to the basket, no foul. Good rebound by Bab. he's got at least four of those on the night. He's going the other way now, 125 to go. Good ball move, Bab over to Millette. Millette has Tatsuya in the three, he didn't look it. It was, oh, oh. It. but nylon, baby. Yes sir, -y. six points for Millette. Big loopy rainbow pass. <laughs> Cameron Verola, now number two. Nadeel Gonzalez number with 15, it. Number 15, kind of giving up here. Yeah, <laughs> he gets a screen little, oh my gosh, puts it off the glass. Rebound, goes to Bab again. He's got five on the night already, and this is only the first quarter. 55 seconds remaining quarter number one. Millette will slow it down. They can slow it down and have one of the last shots here. Millette, good ball movement, gets a screen from Bad. Little travel. He should have passed it off to, uh, he had Tatsuya open in the corner. He just reset, they had time. 43.8 seconds remain in quarter number one. 35 seconds on the shot clock, so we'll see what happens here. Three-man press, three-two press, pretty much. Press is broken. Modesto's looking to check in. Goes up for the shot. And it bounces Just out. Yeah, bounces out. Millette comes down with the rebound. Millette over to Dredge. He has the corner Taking three. His time. Oh, Bab with another rebound. Yes. Hey. Oh, and Bab with nine on the night with six rebounds. At least. 15 seconds, 20 to 11. We'll see what West Side can do here. Anthony Coran shot no good. Tatsuya comes down with the rebound. Let's see a good road out there. Dredge looks for the three, pump fake. Out to Millette, he'll take the three. No good. And they'll chuck it. Air ball. Good attack. <laughs> <laughs> but he was close though. He was yeah, a good yeah, like yeah. 10 feet off. Well, not I, I from across court. Honestly, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. probably better than I could do. Hey, that was probably even like I mean, he shot it from the other end of the three throw line. It was only like maybe like five feet. So is that a maybe. six point line if it's the other side's yeah, three point? You know what? Yeah, maybe that would be a six point line. Because <laughs> I know the four point line uh, uh, that's been debated about is like just uh, beyond the three point line. Mm. But before uh, like a mm. like the half point or yeah. half court. I'd say half court's like five points. Would you? Would you say? And six is like six. So 
that makes it interesting. So uh, going from four to three isn't uh, that much distance, but yeah. five to four is pretty good, and then six yeah. to uh, five is even yeah. more. Seven would be like under the hoop. Probably. Seven pointer. But we also have to consider this would also save a lot of over and back issues. Mm. There is no over and back if you just never went over. Yeah. You just stayed true. back the whole time. Yeah, and you just if you just chuck it up, you hope and pray it goes in, right? Exactly. Hell Mary pass. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, Tom Brady out here? <laughs> what are no, we? No, because we bounce pass. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> what is he gonna retire and then come out of retirement again? <laughs> just to come at us. <laughs> yeah. Like you want to see a bounce pass? Yeah, hey, I mean. <laughs> Uh, another eight minutes to go. He can't inbound it. He finally does. So 20 to 11 after quarter number one. Uh, going to the hoop. 11. Making a llama with its hands. <laughs> a silent llama from nature's classroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a screen from Modesto. He's got no dribble now. Fasula with it. A minute 35 about. Bab with it. Bab over to Millet. Millet floater. Good. Millet on the board. He's shooting like he usually does. He's got eight on the right Just bend. rolled right on in. Yeah. About 7.25 to go. And going the other way, number 33, Jacqueline DiCarlo. Shot three. No good. Rebound. Faded Frontier around a good bit, though. Yeah. Millet, good job by boxing out from, oh my Ooh, gosh. Popped it. Goes. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't try to jump and grab it. It was definitely off one of the Terrier Spriders. I think it was the pink shoes let him down. Mm. Pink's my, uh, there's a reason why I'm wearing blue tonight. Exactly. It's a bad omen color tonight. Yeah, I mean, after last night, I decided blue's my color. Exactly. Uh, Brandon uh, Paquette checked in there, and I think someone else did as well for the Terriers. 7.08 to go, 22 to 11, 11 point lead for the Red Ox. Millette looking for the inbound, fine. Bab, Pasulo with it. Pasulo will slow it down, guarded by number 23, Patrick Asurge. I can't say that name. Patrick A. <laughs> uh, Garrett Dredge, deep three by Pasulo. <laughs> Count that one. He's got two threes on the night. 25 to 11. The Terriers got to figure out something quickly. Looks like number 30, and I can't see the other kid's number checking in. It's going to be Daniel Kearney and someone else. Floater, no good. And the rebound, he should have grabbed it. Yeah, it just bounced right into his hands. Yeah, Fasula will get that rebound. Bab will go to the basket, still has his dribble. Ball comes with his batted to dredge. He floats it up, no good. Bab gets the rebound. And jump ball. You can't fault Frontier's ball movement, though. No. This is great. This, this, they're looking more like themselves. Looks like number two, J uh, Jadil Gonzalez will check in. Number 33 and 23 will check out. That is uh, Joaquin DiCarlo and Patrick Asurgo. I'm sorry I'm saying that wrong. 6-16, deep three by Vasulo, no good. Tip rebound, Modesto finds, uh, it went into Millet's hand, so I'll credit him with the rebound. Millet will get a screen from, nope, he will not get a screen from Bab. Floater, no good, rebound. Goes to number 30, Deandro Perny. Going the other way now, 34, Michael Mahan. And Modesto will pick up a quick foul. Maybe the shortest whistle in all the league there. Yeah, that was not loud at all. <laughs> Something interesting I was going to mention, you know, C.J. Hannum, he has been out with an injury. I pretty much watched him injure himself. It was Ooh. a bad ankle sprain at Flushed practice. It. And uh, he's still here tonight, but Carter Miller got moved up to varsity for the Red Ox. Floater, no good. They can't buy a basket, Ben. Oh, oh. wow. They're gonna give that foul to Bab. I mean, that was a lot of ball. Yep, yeah. I'm kind of surprised they hit anybody at all there. I don't think he did. Saying there's some uh, tomfoolery from the refs. Mm, little Tom Fuller. Tom Albert Ooh, Foolery. Tom Albert Foolery. So it's not gonna be Bab, it's gonna be Ron Modesto's second foul. And number 15 will, that would be Anthony Coran. He's got the first foul shots of this quarter. He missed the first one, still fit 25-11. 5.47 to go. Misses that one, Max Millet. He goes, Anthony goes 0 for 2 there. And that's why he practiced foul shots at three points. Yep, after every, every practice, uh, Coach uh, Brent, oh, bad pass from Dredge. I think Bab's got at least eight rebounds on the night and uh, 
Millette has at least four. Um, but as I was saying is uh, Ritz Brenda would at the and, the and my mom were my basketball coaches, especially my mom, seven to nine, and uh, you know, oh, charge. Yeah, they're going to... Might as well have had bullhorns on him. Yeah. Good job by Garrett Dredge drawing up that foul. And that'll be uh, Anthony Coran's second foul. Frontier will get the ball back. And... Uh, nice and slow. Yeah. That's all they have to do now. Yep. The but lead like this, they take it easy. Yeah. Bound, not... The, come on. Dredge will get try to get back. It, oh, and drop the ball yeah. with the butterfingers. <laughs> Dredge, he got back on defense. He picked up that steal. Uh, you know, I'll credit him with that. Three by Sasha. Drag no good. Babble gets another rebound. Put back. No foul called. And rebound goes to number 30. Still fighting for it. That was Daniel Perney. He gets a rebound. They'll slow it down. Looking for an outlet. And so Bab, he's got nine on the night at, at least. And I'll check at halftime. Number two goes up. Wow. They're going to call it on Alex Ellis. That was just... These, you know, some of these calls, very interesting, Ben. Won't lie, they need it. Mm -hmm. But he, will he be able to connect on these three throws? I don't know. Again, you got to practice them. They yeah. don't just come naturally. It's far away. Yeah, it is. I was going to say, after under, after every I mean, he misses that one. That is, that is uh, Jadil Gonzalez. He's 0, he's 0 for 1. See if we can make this one. That one looks good. Yeah. One for two. And Jadil Gonzalez will have three points on the night. That will make the lead down to 13. 25-12 with 4.40 to go. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Sasha will what pick up. What a reach. Yeah. <laughs> He's going for the ball, but Sasha will pick up a foul. He's not good but for the Hawks. But Basula will check in for Garrett Dredge. He did a good job out there, had to steal himself, and uh, he's got two points, so well-earned rest. 4.30 to go, 25-12 still. Outlet pass, three, no good in and out. Sasha Dragicevic comes down with the rebound. Going the other way is Fasulo now. Fasulo, rainbow pass over to Millette. He has travel. Millette's got to plant his feet, Ben. He's got to do that. No rollerblades here. Well, it has, I think, three fouls, or three travels on, called on him tonight. How dare. How dare he. 4.05 to go. The Terriers have the ball. Good ball movement. We'll see if number 15, Anthony Coran, now out, th shot three by Michael Mann. No good. Sasha Dragicevic <laughs> with another foul, uh, another rebound. That might have been a travel. Maybe. Rebound going the other way is Michael Monahan. He has a rebound, a couple of those on the night. 25-12, the score is still not changed. 3.45 to go under. Number two, Jadil Gonzalez gets a screen. He'll keep going, shot. They cannot buy a basket, Ben. Back into the corner of the basket and slams the ball on the ground. Woo. Woo. Daniel Pierney will pick up a foul. That'll be the team's second of this half, his first. And he'll check out. Checking in is Ryan Elon. And it looks like number 34, Michael Monham, will also check out. Number 11, Brian Sutter, will check in for him. See if, you know, these fresh legs can shoot. Because right now the West Side Terriers are struggling a little bit. Ellis with the ball on the far side of the corner. He'll drive. Guard a double team. Fasulo, wide open three. Wow. Nice and easy all day. He's got three threes on the night, count at nine points, 28-12, extending Frontier's lead to 16 points. 3.05 to go here in Goodenow Gymnasium in the first half. Number two goes to the basket, puts it up, no call. Good rebound. Nice job by Brandon Perret. Flying Fuck. high over the dragon. Yeah, and he's he's got at least four, he's got a bunch of offensive rebounds, Ben. 14-point lead for Sasha will go up. Ooh, more like a football oh. game there. And there. He didn't set his feet in time, and they're going to call a foul on Jadil Gonzalez, a blocking one. That'll be his first, team's third. The Dragon very upset about it. Yeah. The Dragon. 
<laughs> the year of the dragon, right, Ben? You can hear him steaming from here. Yeah. Ooh, toasty. Toasty. On fire. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> rainbow pass to Alice. He'll but stick did with he him. find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Let's find out what the dragon does. Oh, gosh. Yep. <laughs> Guess not. No. Oh, maybe. He'll go up. Foul on the floor, I think. Yeah, I think they're going to go. I like this ref. Very aggressive about his calls. I like it. <laughs> it'll be number 11, Brian Sutter, his first foul. Team's fourth. Both will, if one other foul given up, it'll be a bonus. Three by Ellis. Ellis gets on the board as I voice crack away. 31-14, <laughs> to go in the second quarter. And number two, Jadil Gonzalez. What he needs to do, Ben, is he needs to pass the ball and get the passing lanes out. But that's risky, because Westside's had butterfingers like nothing I've yeah, ever seen. And they cannot buy a basket right now, which is just unfortunate for them. Good post move. Out. He'll drive. Number 11 will shoot. No good. Oh, that was almost out. Wow. Number 11 will throw it up again. No good. They can still can't buy a basket, but Frontier but can't buy a basket. it. Yeah, Millette will come down with that finally. He's got five rebounds. Floater, he should have passed it away, but no. What? White ball. He was like, I'm blue, white. <laughs> white, <laughs> white, white. Oh, wow. Full change for the Terriers as five players come off. All but uh, four come on as uh, Jadil Gonzalez will be the only one staying out. Millette, Fasulo. One four under uh, 135. Bab puts it up. No good. Getting the rebound off the defensive board is number 23, Patrick Asurgo. Just saying, that pass went right in front of 14. He could have totally stolen it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Millette will come down with the rebound. <laughs> Another one. Lying up the courts. A jumper. No good. He can't buy a basket right now. He needs to pass it off to someone who can. 31 14, 115 to go. Come on, Millette. Good defense here. Hawks have been playing very good on defense, Ben. Except for they can't get a rebound. That's true. Frontier does a pretty good job at keeping him out. And when they do get in, trapping them pretty yeah. much directly under the basket. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Millette with excellent defense so he, so He's outside. Mm. He's going to stay there for a good long while. Yep. Oh, oh, he's going for the three. Oh. Fasulo still loose. He finally finds Gets the rebound. Gets the ball again. He'll go coast to coast. No foul called. But Fasulo's got 11 on the night. I mean, he can either make it in foul shots or right here, right now. Yep. 35 seconds remain in this first half. 33-14 with 25 on the shot clock right now. Good defense by the Hawks. Loose pass. Number four, Cameron Varola will shoot a three. No good. Ellis will come down with the rebound, and Frontier can just slow it down and have the last shot. They can just slow it down, Ben. They don't need to rush here. Have a good old time, you know? Yes. No pressure. Just like us, right? Maybe show off a little bit between the legs. Mm. Yeah. Get the screen. I'm not seeing it, though. No. Dragon. Sasha Dragon. Drop the ball. Ooh. Pasulo. Three. They got to shoot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, another Hell Mary. Also not too far off. No. But the time expired before he shot, so. Ah, uh, true. But it would have been a cool flex. Yes. 33-14, Frontier with a 19-point lead, right, Ben? Hey, it feels good to be Frontier right now, I'm sure. Yeah, now you know, I'm happy because I'm not wearing my pink shirt and I'm not cursing them. Exactly. <laughs> not getting the curses lifted. Generally, right? Frontier passing pretty well. We got those bounce passes, as we're always looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always look for those bounce passes, right, Ben? Absolutely. Uh, not a lot of gold at the end of rainbow passes, as mm, I mentioned. Mm. Yeah, and you know, uh, one thing I'd like to mention, you know, Ben stepped up big tonight. <laughs> Stepping on the mic is, you know, I, uh, nobody wanted to step up big for me and step on the mic. So, hey, thank you, Ben Roberts. <laughs> hey, I do what I can. Yes. You and know, the show must go on. The show always must go on. One right? way or another. <laughs> Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio said that line. <laughs> the show goes on. And uh, Connor Mabius, he's also on camera tonight. Uh, but we're going to quickly thank our sponsors, and then I'll give us who's got the scores before we go to the break. So, we are FCAT broadcast is sponsored by Albert Hearing Services, located in Greenfield, uh, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, you can call 
my mom at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit alberthearing.com. Uh, you know, they are, they do it well over there, right, Ben? Oh, yeah. I know they do it well because I could see how hard you, not even like your mom, you were thinking just to figure out that sponsor. <laughs> yes, I think very hard. And like, everything's done with a lot of thought. Mm. And genuinely, though, they do great work. I know two people who have gone there, gotten hearing aids, and they're much better off without them. Or with them, sorry. <laughs> with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I know who you're talking about, too. Yep. Uh, I remember, uh, I believe it was your mom who uh, uh, talked to one of them and came Dad. out. No, it wasn't. Uh, oh, it was your mom? And ha just kind of like looked at my mom. And she was really struggling trying to figure out uh, how to phrase it because my mom has really, really bad hearing loss. Mm. And she just said, it must be really hard sometimes for you, right? And my mom pretty much like, jumped out of her seat, like screaming, like, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. We had uh, uh, one of my, uh, we'll tell another story, is uh, FaceTime. Mm -hmm. I FaceTimed uh, my mom when I was at my other job, ski instructing at the end of the day. Yep. Claudia, you know, give her her shout out. She's one of the lunch ladies, been there doing that for years. And I worked with the three to six year olds. <laughs> and uh, uh, she was like, she was telling me a couple weeks ago, can you talk to my, uh, my husband? Because... He needs hearing aids, and then when he gets uh, home, Ben, when he gets home, he takes them off, and he's like, what? I can't hear you. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, we have that issue when uh, uh, someone in my family goes to take a shower, mm. and they come out because they had to take their hearing aids out because they're not water resistant. Uh, so it's like, huh? <laughs> what? Huh? Yep. And uh, actually leading up to that appointment, my mom is a uh, high school teacher. Mm. So uh, students have eventually learned that they need to, like, bang on the floor every once in a while to get my mom's attention. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. Yeah, all good stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take the break here, right, Ben, after thanking our sponsors and a little story time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll take a break. They're going to take one as well. we got 6.30 or 6.25 before we come back. Uh, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Thank
Hello and welcome back to the Good Now Gymnasium. We're just about to kick things off. We got Tom Albert and Connor here, along with yours truly, Benjamin Roberts. And we're about to inbound the uh, uh, ball from right in front of our uh, own little table. Pretty much right exactly at half court. And here we go. All right, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television as Ben brought it back excellently. Shot three, dump, jumper, jumper, jumper. Right oh. out of the gate. Yeah, Ryan, hold on. Wow. That took 14 seconds off the clock. Scores 33-16 and a good timeout call by uh, Coach Morris. He's going to talk things over again. Guess the timeout wasn't long enough for him, huh? No. Uh, if only he had 11 minutes. Yeah. Specifically. Yep. I'm gonna. Uh, we're, we're gonna take. They're gonna take a quick break. So will you, Ben? Alrighty. Uh, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. As Ben Roberts made me laugh, so uh, it took us a little longer. <laughs> uh, Try to have everyone have a good time. Ooh, a steal right to number one, Ryan Hillan. He's making things happen here in the third quarter. Coast, coast to coast, and he gets fouled. Gets R tripped up at the last beach. Yeah, Ryan Hillan. What a, yeah. But he's got an opportunity to clear the beach and make it right into the ocean. <laughs> Ben, I the west side of <laughs> God, Ben, I will tell you, you are a man at telling me, uh, <laughs> describing things. Nobody does it better than Ben Roberts. Oh, I don't know about that. It took some uh, uh, Midwestern energy to uh, make it happen. <laughs> Tom over here dying. Oh, oh, just barely makes it in. So he'll make one, one of the two. I don't even know who shot that. That was uh, Ryan Hillan. Uh, we'll go to quarter three. At halftime, it was what, 33 16? I do. Uh, they made a basket, right? So yeah, they did. 13. I don't know. It was. It was Pretty four. sure that would have been it was 14 because uh, 14 14 they made a two pointer and a foul shot. Yes. Nice ball movement. No good, though. Layup. Good job by Michael Milan making things happen. Bab will get that though, uh, that rebound. That makes Going it crazy. He's got at least 10 on the night, so yeah. It was an interesting move. Uh, uh, one I don't usually see around here, trying to go to the foul line since it's a no oh. shot. Millette, oh gosh, he's holding his back. I, yep. I hope he's all right. So Millette, yeah, he's slow to get up, and they're gonna they're gonna take it's 6:43, 33:17. They're gonna we're gonna take an injury timeout. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
All right, welcome back. Max Millette got subbed out for uh, Tasuya, and Tasuya will be taking the foul shots on uh, Millette's behalf. It is 35-17, shooting one. And not quite. It's hard to see what's happening. Ref in the way. We're at the top of the key. Dribbling the ball. Over to the Dragon. Dragon goes right into the paint. Walks a whole like couple yards there. But number 15 on west side passes to 34 and makes the layup. West side struggling to get it down the court. All right, we're back as I got Millet some uh, ice. Has the score changed at all, Ben? It has. Uh, Westside, it's gotten a uh, layup, I believe they call ah. it, in the new school. Oh, three, no good, but <laughs> new school. New kids on the block, right? <laughs> a nice. Oh! Ooh. Pasula will pick up a foul there. That looked like hard. he got tripped in midair. Yeah. Physics gets weird in the air. Yeah. Jadil Gonzalez is go over to his coach and... Just talking things over. Uh, Fasula will pick up his first. Team's second in this quarter. Looks like Caden Manning's going to check in, and shout out to him. He hopped on the mic last night. Number one, Ryan Hillon, making things happen here in the third. Uh, he's going to go see if he can make them both. He's one for one there. Scores 35 20 with 5. 48 to go. Going for that last shot. And yeah, he That's makes it. Good. Him. Yeah, two for two. So he makes up for his other teammates that went over two at the line earlier in the game. 5.45, 35.21. And uh, 35, yeah. Taking you know. it easy, making yeah. their shots deliberate. Yeah. These are rainbow passes, but I guess they're working. Pasulo corner three, no good. Rebound will go to Tatsuya. Good row. Manning, new shot clock. Ellis out to uh, Pasulo now. Tatsuya, good row will drive. Out to Ellis, Ellis for three. Throws it up, no good, rebound, goes to Tatsuya. Tatsuya over to Manning, finds Fasulo now. So they have a, two new shot clocks. They can just kind of waste this time, Manning. Staying over here for hours. Yeah, Ellis, and intercepted pass. That was unfortunate. And Ooh, oh, good that, slap. Yeah, coast to coast, number 15. He'll pick up the steal, rebound by Manning. Gated Manning, the man, the myth, the legend. Gets a rebound. Bring it back down. We gonna be methodical about this? Yeah. Manning over to Tatsuya for three. Oh! Straight in. Good row from downtown, Ben. Makes it 38-21. Well, I wouldn't say it was downtown. Downtown would be under the net. This is ah. more side town. Side town, like west side. Exactly. Yeah. Yet, they're not making a lot of threes. No. Jumper, no good. Rebound, good job by number two. That was Jadil Gonzalez. He jumped without the ball. Yeah. And now going to the basket, shot. Number one, no good, that was Ryan Hillon. And another offensive board. Oh my gosh, Just and Ron. barely. Brandon Paquette, the, he's the man right now, him and Ryan Hillon. He, uh, Brandon's got five on the night, or eight, excuse me, uh, uh, Brandon. And Ryan has uh, five, so at least. Uh, scores 38-21, that foul will be on number 11. Eluvin. <laughs> Eluvin. New words here. And a three point play there by Brandon Paquette. As he's got nine. Making so. the gap a mere 14 points. Mm. Yeah. I mean, hey, they're, they're bringing it back. They're doing, they're, they're actually hitting shots, Ben. They yeah, struggle them. They are. And I'm noticing. Mm. I'm noticing. Mm. They washed off their hands. Oh. They found some goo under the seat, <laughs> made their hands sticky, and they're not dropping the ball anymore. That is exactly right. And you know what they're doing as well, Ben? What are Your doing? favorite thing. Oh, don't bounce tell me. passes. Bounce passes. And what are we noticing from Frontier? A lack uh, of bounce passes. Mm -hmm. I only saw one so far. There might have been a couple. Yeah. But I only saw in like registered one good meaty bounce pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the bounce passes are what they need to do. And they need to do them right. They're magic, I'm telling they you. They are. Because where, where are your hands, Tom? Mm. They're up. Mm. Where's the ball when you do a bounce pass? Mm. On the ground. Mm. Can you kick the ball in basketball? No. No bueno. 
So, ball's out of reach. Mm. And then we got people like the skyscraper over here. Where do you think his hands are? Whoa. Way up way here. Up up here. here. Way, way up here. Way up here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. 415, 38, 24. Me and Ben having fun on the mic tonight in the Western Mass uh, playoffs. And Connor maybe is having a good job on the camera, as he does. Shout out to him for saving me and Ben right now. You could have been on triple duty, right, Ben? Whew, that would have been a fun night. Imagine if I got stuck in three-hour traffic, too. <laughs> you would have been on quadruple duty. It's Every like a one-man band. You got ten instruments on your back. Yep, that's what I had to do. Oh, good defense. Fasulo finally getting by uh, Tran. Big Manning for pass. three. Ah, in and out. Unfortunate. Number five, he's got a bunch of rebounds. He's got at least six. Uh, that is uh, Brandon Paquette. He's making things happen. He, he's got a lot of offensive boards and defensive for the West Side Terriers. 38-24. They're going to choose to slow it down. They'll go to the basket. Shot. No good. Bab with yet another rebound. He's Sky got Skyscraper does it. He's got at least 11. Manning over to Bab. Bab over to Dredge. 4-3. That's his favorite mm. spot right there. They're going to call it on Manning. Interesting move. And one thing I'd, I'd like to say about Cade Manning, he was the first ever eighth grader uh, to start a uh, uh, game in varsity. Wow. So he proved Last himself year. in seventh and then went straight into it? Yep. Good for him. Yep, yep, yep. I could never. Mm. <laughs> Me neither. I'm, I'm an athletic, but I, I that's mean, talent. Also, like when I was in high school, it was a whole different team. It was Ben Brashevsky uh, coaching own, uh, Coach Morse, the JV team. And uh, let's just say that we had Karsten Carey, Peter Carey, Alex Sharp, and a bunch of other guys. A whole bunch of great athletes yeah. right there. Oh, my gosh. Love to see an alumni D game with all of them. Donovan Hoffman, too. That was another big name. Ooh. Oh, nice steal by Bonesto as he just checked in. Good job. I may he made things happen there. Ref almost ran over number three. Oh, man. Tatsuya Goodrow gets it to Bab down low. Put up. Fouled in one. Good job by the skyscraper, Owen Babb. He's got 11, could be 12. He's tied for the lead scoring with, with Nico Fasulo with both teams with 11. But it could be 12, right, Babb? Yeah, he'd just be pointing at the basket like I'm shooting at this one. Mm. This is the basket I'm shooting on? Really? Yeah. That little thing? Yeah, yeah. I can do that. I can do That's that. easy. Oh, man. Easy peasy. And guess lemon what? squeezy. <laughs> easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It'd be really embarrassing if he doesn't make it. Yep, Anthony Coran has four fouls. He's got to check out. Oh, Ooh, man, he didn't Couldn't quite it. get it in. No, no, no. Number one, Ryan Halan gets yet another rebound. He's got at least four of those on the night. Number two, Jadil Gonzalez. He'll slow it down, gets a screen. He'll go to his left, guarded by Fasulo. Now hands it off to number 34, Michael Mahan, and... What? They didn't call it on back. I mean, I blame Westside just for it being a really bad idea to try to run through three players. Yeah, I mean, but hey, I guess it worked. A shooting foul, what? Whoa. And Bab will pick up the foul, okay. Oh, yeah, no, it's uh, their fifth, so it's a bonus. Ah, uh, that would do it. Yep. Counting's hard. Uh, I can't count. This is not who you want out of the line, too. Michael Mo uh, Mohan is a good shooter, so... All right, so is it illegal to move the basket mid-shot? Mm. I think it might be. Might be? Really? Yeah. Unfortunately. I don't know. I don't, see, I, 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 like, I don't have a rule book in front of me, but that also means I don't see that rule. So Just hit the uh, basket as hard as you can before no, no, the shot? I'm just saying, like, uh, you know how they can get these baskets to like move up and out of the way? Just start doing that. Yeah, I guess so. 40-26, to 26, the score. Still a 14-point lead for the Hawks. 2.35 to Ooh, go. Shot that over like a wow. missile. Oh, and Bab. Gets his own rebound, put it back up. That's what I would do. And one. Heck yes, yeah. sir. He leads both teams in scoring now with that one. He draws yet another uh, foul, and he's got at least, Ben, count it, 12 rebounds. At least. 12 rebounds. Holy crap. Holy guacamole, as I'd like to say. <laughs> that is more rebounds, and there is, uh, 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 sorry, there's fewer rebounds, and there are points between home and yeah. uh, visitor. Mm. He's got more rebounds. Mm. He's got the same amount of rebounds as he does points, 13 and 13. Yeah, but he's catching up. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if he can have more points. Oof. Straight in. Yep. 
That one is released that you could tell is going to go in. 43 26, 225 to go in Goodnow Gymnasium as number five, Brandon Paquette, picks up his first foul there. And uh, going the other way, number two is Jadil Gonzalez, passes it, pass it off. Number right at the block, but he yeah. gives it up. <laughs> Cooper Smith. Three ball, no good. I mean, that was nothing but nylon. Uh, nothing but net, Ben. But that's all it was, <laughs> net, no points. But uh, going up, good job by number uh, five, gets another rebound. He's got at least eight rebounds. And I couldn't quite be right with that, but Modesto will pick up his third foul. He's got to be careful on those. And yeah, again, number five, Brandon Paquette keeping his team in it. He's got 10. Making up almost a third of the points. Yeah. 43-27, 209 to go. Wow. He goes two for two there. He's got 11. Uh, number five, two for two. Modesto will slow it down. Two minutes pretty much on, on the dot to go. Dredge in the corner. He's going to bring it out to the top of the key. Now for Sulo, he's going to slow it down. Drop the play. He's got Bab. Bab post move. Good. Ah. And two. Yep. But he's oh. got it. Yeah, two. He's, no. Yeah, Coach uh, Joella Ponte uh, telling his team that they're not talking, which you need to communicate in a sport like this. Ben. Oh, absolutely. It's one of the most important things. Yeah, imagine throwing a ball at a player and they're not even looking at you. Oh yeah, I mean that. You got to call out to them, say, "Hey, turn around. That Ball's coming your way. <laughs> Gonna hit you in the head because I'm doing a big loopy rainbow pass instead of a bounce pass." Just saying. That happened last night, Ben. I will say that that did happen a couple times. They just yeah. the girls' team just passed and no one was looking and bada bing, bada boom, a steal a roo. Bab goes one for two there, and Bab's got count it 15 points on the Ooh. night. 44-28 is the score with 140 to go here in the third quarter. West side going down to the hoop. It's number two, Jadil Gonzalez. Now four, Cameron Varola. Kick ball. 133 to go, 21 on the shot clock. A 16 po point lead for the Red Ox, if I can do math correctly. Inbounding it is Brandon Paquette. He inbounds it to Cameron Verola. Shot three, air ball, no good, but Paquette will get the rebound. Put back is good. Paquette, 13 points and at least nine rebounds. They're clawing back a little bit of ground here. Yep. Still a 14 point lead for the Hawks, and Ooh. that's a foul, but oh my On gosh. On the ground like a seal. <laughs> and what? Oh my gosh. Paquette has to be careful now. He has three fouls, Ben. He's got to live dangerously. Yeah. He takes pressure to make a diamond. Yeah. But he, he's got to be very careful because he, he is their player that is making things happen. He's got 13 points, at least nine rebounds, and he cannot afford to foul out of this game. But maybe that will inspire the team to pick up the slack. Mm. Babs, count it, leads both teams in scoring with 16 now. Bab, I'm not sure what the refs, well, he made his first, so 45-30, 1-12 to go. See if we can make a second. Oh, Ooh, in and out. Mm. Modesto, the whole two yeah. seconds off the clock there. And Modesto didn't like that call. As it, he thinks it was off uh, one of the West Side Terrors players. Anyways, 45-30, 15-point lead for the Hawks. One minute remaining in the third quarter. Number. And uh, travel. Hope oh. you packed your bags, kid. Got to go home to Mexico. No, I don't know. Mexico? I don't know. We're in Massachusetts. I want to go to Mexico. Ben. That'd be pretty go good. That'd be pretty good. I want to be like Chris. Nice and warm in this winter. Chris oh. Gilbert. Hockey. He's going to Florida. He's in Florida right now. I want to be there. <laughs> good for him. Mm. But I do love the ski slopes. Okay, now what's going on? Uh, players are confused. I'm confused. Seems only one ref knows what's going on. Can't uh, see the other. The fans are confused. I'm confused. You're All right. Confused. Hawks are inbounding. Mm. 53.8 seconds. Now not that. Whoa. That looked like a travel to me. Well, the thing was. Oh, shooting two. Oh. Yeah, it was a shooting foul. Too. Ah. Mm-hmm. 
you see it's because he was run into. He felt like he had to walk a few more steps. So yes. the foul had already happened. So he figured he'd just go for a little yeah, jog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get his steps in for the day. This is my quote uh, that I like. Number 22 will pick up the foul. Brady uh, Puckett. Uh, the foul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoever's yelling, it's not working. There's Enthusiastic, but yeah. not enough power. Fusulo at least makes his first, but the quote I was going to get, Brandon Paquette checks out now. Checking in is number 33, uh, Joaquin DiCarlo. Joaquin DiCarlo. 50.9 seconds remain, 46.30. The quote I was going to give after Fusulo will drill that one, and he's got 13 on the night. Two for two at the line. And Fusulo. Two for two. Rocking it down into the corner. Yep. Oh, deep three. Dredge comes out with the rebound, going the other way. Good job by Garrett Dredge. I mean, he he's short, but he's a scrappy player. Oh, absolutely. And he loves his corners, trying to go for threes. Yeah. 17-point lead for the Hawks, 47 point thir uh, to 30, with 40.4 seconds remain in the third quarter. How is that not a foul? I don't know. Masulo going up the court. He has time to still bring it over half court. He does eventually. No, yeah. You got arms flying uh, yeah. here. How is there no foul called? And, oh my gosh! And that was almost made it though. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hey, sometimes you just got to make it work, you know. Yeah, but he was like full on bear hugging them. I mean, they were running to each other a little bit, so mm -hmm. little little give, little take. Mm -hmm. The quote I was gonna give is uh, a blind man talking to a deaf dog. I see, I see, says the blind man. You like that quote, Ben? Inspirational. Inspirational. 15 seconds remain, 47.3. Floater by Fasulo, no call. Tatsuya, good roll with the rebound. Put back, no good. Wow. Bodies hit the floor. Three seconds. Oh, boom goes the dynamite, Ben. Who shot Woo. that? Brady? Uh, someone who made a three. Brady Prockett, I'll give him the three, I guess. But, hey, still 14-point lead. It's kind of a... Hey, hey. Don't discount it. We mm. saw it with the girls' game last night. They cleared over 20 points mm, in they, one quarter. Yeah. What the girls do? They have five. I <laughs> know. Uh, straight sadness for just me. Kills you on the inside. Yeah, it really does. Only on the inside. Outside, mm. it's, it's you're just a little pale. Yep. 47-33. We'll go to. We'll take the break. They're gonna take one as well. Eight minutes to go here in Goodnow Gymnasium. We'll see what happens. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Over, Ben Roberts, Connor Mabius here tonight. The three man show, the Amigos. Three Amigos. Yeah. 47 33 as we start off the fourth quarter. Here we go to the fourth. We got just enough here to make the dream work. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so close. Bounced right off the rim. 31, bring it down into the corner. Going for, oh, rejected. Who was that, Bab, or who? Uh, that is a ball screaming home to mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hmm. That was that was something, Ben. <laughs> at least we have a good time here at FCAD. Oh, absolutely. No dull no. days here. This is the most fun I've had on the mic in a while. Shot three, no good. Dredge comes down with the rebound. Fasulo will bring it up. He'll slow it down. I mean, just waste time. I mean, that's all you got to do with a lead like this. Yeah, but you can't waste that lead. We know it can just disappear with a snap of fingers. Yep. How is that not called a foul? The refs are letting him play. Dredge, 4-3. No good. Bab will get the rebound, though. He has at least 14. Ooh, flying over a guy here. Yeah. But that makes it nonetheless. Yep. And Nico Fasulo has four threes on the night. 16 points. 
Did they not update the score? No, they did. Oh, no, they a little slow on it. Yeah, yeah. Six. Oh. 50 to 33, Sasha Jagicevic checks in for Tatsuya Goodrow, and Kata Manning will check in for, who's he coming in for? Alex Ellis. So, the Frontier has, I'd say, four three-point shooters out. Two, a little mismatch. We'll see if Manning is three no good by number four. Dredge come, slapped it around, but Pasula comes up with the rebound. Good job by Garrett Dredge. They can slow it Whoa. down. What was that? Passes to the wrong player. No, I know. 6 35, 50 to 33, still to go here in the quarter four. And, oh man. You know, Max Millette has not come back from uh, that injury, but. No, I think he's, I think he's grounding himself a bit here. He's still on the uh, ice pack. Yeah, he's got an ice pack and he's got that ice that I got for him, but, you know, he probably pulled a little bit of a muscle, strained it. Living a cold life right now. Mm, I live that every day. Truthfully, he could just step outside, and then he would become an icicle, and mm. no more pain. Yeah, that's true. No pain, no gain, right, Ben? Right. <laughs> Therefore, he's out of the game. <laughs> See if he can make the second one. Go one for two there. He does. That's number 33. Starting off one for two there. Going the other way is uh, Fasulo. Good job there. He's going to get a screen from Bab. He had the give and go. He chooses to go with it. Dredge in the corner. Look for the three. To spot, back. back to spot. Oh. oh. Where's the rebound from Frontier? The Dragon that? gave it a shot, yeah. but no dice. Yeah. Smith with the rebound, and he make that play happen. Number four will go draw the foul. Uh, oh, no, number. I'm trying to see. Yeah. Number four, uh, Cameron Varola. We'll have two shots here, six ten to go. These are vital three throw shots as the score is fifty to thirty-four. See if you can make one. Uh, nope. Close. See if you can make the second one here. Push it forward just a couple more inches and it's going right in. Yes, sir. -y. Uh he misses that one. Bap gets yet another rebound. He's got fifteen on the night at least. Rebound machine over there. Six minutes, 50 to 34, 16 point lead. Jargisevich looking for the oh gaps and gosh. showing off, but dropped the ball. And oh my gosh, dropped the ball goes again. Up. Oh, let the bodies oh. hit the floor. Give. Nice, no can't Almost convert. Work. Dragon. Oh, they're going again. Oh my gosh, she could not hold on to it. And I think that was number 31. I think Cooper the dragon Smith. found the butter. Yeah, he did. He found the butter that the Terriers dropped. And, the, and Fasulo will bring it up off court. He can slow it down. He has Manning to his left, but he doesn't know that. Good movement. He's Ooh, got a double team. Yes, get it to Manning down low. Oh! oh! What the? What? What? <laughs> Manning will convert. Oh, no. but he got the ball. He's oh. going to score it again. Oh, my gosh. Benjamin. What is happening here tonight? Chaos. Absolute chaos. Beginning Manning gets on the board though. And uh, good job there by the Hawks. That'll be 33, Joaquin DeCarlo's first foul. And, oh wow, bunch of players coming on, four players off. Whole new team pretty much. Yeah, it's like a hockey change. 52-36 <laughs> uh, uh, for Manning points there. And uh, 5.14 to go in good now gymnasium in regulation. Basulo with a big jumper. He floated that one. Floated to the moon. Isaac and Mars. Ah. Jeep three, no good. Dredge with another rebound. Yeah, Dredge at least has three rebounds on that. Bab, what a move. Oh my god. Spinning gosh. in the air. My guy just be floating there. Bro was 360ing like he had a snowboard on. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Halan will pick up his first. 457 and uh, 52 36. See if Bab can convert here. Ooh. Got one there. That one, I heard, uh, what, it hit the backboard or the rim? Uh, rim, then backboard, then in. So you're kind of right. Mm. I didn't even look, I just heard it. <laughs> Got the sense for it. Yeah. It's my sixth sense. Oh, yeah. And Did there the it same goes. Thing. Two for two. Bab, own oh, Bab. I don't think he's missed a. Uh, he's missed one three throw shot. He's five for six. So, yeah, that's a pretty good record right there. Yeah. 
he practices those. It was well for Sudo. 18 points. Brandon now out to number 15, Anthony Kranz. He's out there with, uh, oh, no Around good. The oh, man. Oh, but coming Howard. back. Oh, His team my. just lets him go. What the heck? Gosh. Ten rebounds on the night for Brandon uh, Pocket there. 4.30 to go. The score is 55-38. 17 point lead. Fasulo with the floater. No good. He's got to pass it off. This is yep. not good. Being a ball hog helps no one. Nope. You're just helping the other team. Floater. No good. Rebound. Number 15 gets it. Put back. Good! Right on in. Ryan Alon with at least seven on the night. 4-10 remains. And... Yep, they're going to call an and one. Good job by Halan drawing that foul. He's keeping his team in this right now as well as uh, Brandon Paquette. Modesto will check in for Howard. That's smart, smart move. Absolutely. As long as uh, Mr. Modesto doesn't <laughs> have uh, Butterfingers out there. Three-point play for Halan. Right on in. Halan with one for one there. Making it work, making it work. Oh, right wow. over him. Manning. It's like playing catch with a dog. We just send it right over their head. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to laugh. Woo. And just for, just for kicks and giggles, got it right into the basket. Yes, kicks and giggles. Oh, someone's Ooh. getting a phone call. Three. You silence your phone. It's like a movie theater. Right, come on. 359, 55, 41. Pasulo chooses to press himself. And getting over the court is Jadil Gonzalez. That did chew off a couple. He still has it. Three ball. No good. In and out. Fasulo gets the rebound. He's got at least four of those on the night. And timeout for the Red Ox. Good coach uh, Morris. Good coach call by him. They like taking breaks. What can I say? Yeah, I like the breaks too. It means we can catch some water and do whatever that we want. You know? Breathe a little bit. I like breathing. <laughs> One of the best pieces of advice that I got when I used to play basketball mm. is uh, uh, – just slow down. Yeah. Breathe. Mm-hmm. Because what I would end up doing is I'd, like, really get into the zone, start uh, just feeling like I have to move at a million miles an hour yeah. all the time. You don't need to. Want to know something interesting, Ben? Hmm. At, before every baseball pitch I threw and basketball threw throat, I'd go in through the nose and out through the mouth. Yep. And it worked settle down. every time for me. And I would do the routine, and guess what? I was a pretty good uh, – Foul shot shooter. I at least made one for two. All right. That's pretty good. 50%. I mean, hey, that's a lot better than we see a lot of even yeah. Frontier uh, players doing. Yeah, other than Owen Babb and uh, Fasulo, they're pretty solid at free throw shots. Yep. Three points. May as well get good at them. Mm -hmm. And all you got to do is crash into some players on your way to the basket. Yes, and, <laughs> and also the other thing is crash the dang boards, right? You follow Absolutely. your shot. As yep. And then you get the rebound. Yes. No matter what, at all costs. Even if you made the basket, make sure you get the rebound. Yes. Throw it out of bounds if you make it. Make the other team work for it. 340. Fasulo, he's getting pushed, a little push back, push, push, push. But he's trying to make his way down to the floor. Yeah. Manning. Oh, ball's loose. Number one, Ryan Halan comes up with yet another steal. He's got at least a couple of those on the night. Hands are up. And Ellis will check in. He's going to have to check in for uh, – dang that. Yeah, that's going to be Modesto's fourth foul. He's, he's going to have to come out. And They're getting pretty familiar at the foul line. Yeah, and Modesto, he's got four on the night, and that puts uh, the, them in the bonus. Can't make that one, though. That was an angry-sounding whistle. Yeah. Wasn't a light one. No. Good job by Caden Manning. He's got he, – you know – He's got at least two points on the night and a, couple, a rebound in there as uh, well as a foul. So. Rebound goes to Bab. He's got at least 16 of those on the night, Ben. All right, let's see how low this man gets to the floor before he passes it. How low can you go? Pretty low, pretty low. <laughs> low to the floor. He's dribbling down to the floor. Oh, my gosh. Draws another foul. The one-man show. here we go again. Yeah, here we go again. Let the show go on. A lot of three throw shots this, uh, this, this quarter, Ben. Third and fourth. Not many in the first and uh, second, but. 309, 55, 41. Pasulo will drain his first. Right on in. Yeah, he has not missed a foul shot tonight. Whew. And Owen Babb's only missed one. So he's five for six, and 
Sewell, see if he can go two for two. Yep, keeps his streak alive. I was at one of the practices one time and he made 18 or 19 for 20. The Sulo did. Free throws? Three throws. Wow. Pretty impressive, right? Hey, that's what you need to do to win games. Yep. And not that takes a 10 seconds out the shot clock. 255 to go. This is quick movement. Bab all the, the way dredge, down the court. Sprinting. He'll take control. Gets it off to Modesto. Put it back. No oh, good. Come on. Hey, but they put in the effort. Yeah. Dredge. Will, uh, or Bab will get the steal there. And a travel Ooh. costly by Anthony Caron. 57 41, 238 to go. 16 point lead for the Red Ox here in Goodnow Gymnasium. How do we know it's a travel and just not a really big dribble? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it was a really big dribble. He's got to inbound it. Fazula's got to inbound it. Ooh. Bab, now the press is broken. 235, and Fasula will slow it down. He's got to get it over half court. Morse telling what drawn up the play from the bench. Good coach there. Ellis down low to Bab. And they're too slow. Oh, and Bab, guess how many points, Ben? 8,000. 20 on the night. I was close. You were very close. Close, 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 close. close. Yep. 7,980 points off, but yep. yeah, it's close. 33, 11, 30, and uh, number 22 are all checking in. That is. Uh, Brady Baquette, Daniel Pierney, um, I forget the other numbers that I said, but they checked in uh, for uh, the timeout called by the Terrors. 2 11, 59, 41. They're going to take a quick break. So we're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Yes, sir. And welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Connor Mabius, the three amigos here tonight. <laughs> 205 remains here in Goodnow Gymnasium, a 16 point lead for the Red Ox. 59 Right into the paint. Woo! The mic peaked a little bit there, but number 33. There was zero defense by the Hawks. De Carlo. Jaquan. Jaquan Phoenix, uh, you know, like the actor. I can't say that, but DiCarlo <laughs> made two points there and uh, another timeout by the Hawks this time. If only they had two minutes. Yeah, if only, Ben. Oh, wait, they can! Yes! Through the power of timeouts. <laughs> yes, 155 to go, and we'll quickly thank our sponsors, Ben Roberts. Who are our sponsors, Tom? Oh, it is Albert, uh, Albert Hearing Services. Albert Hearing Services? Yes. Tell Have me you about them. Yeah, 40, uh, they're looking at 33 Riddell Street in Canal. Uh, I can <laughs> Tongue tied tonight. 33 Riddell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Greenfield, uh, that's not too far away from here. No, we're in Deerfield, Ben, though. <laughs> and uh, uh, you can call my mom at 413-774-0100. Uh, Again, 413-774-0100. Now tell me about this pizza thing I hear oh, about. Oh, holiday pizza, the official pizza FF Cat Sports. <laughs> I love making his job hard. You did make it very hard. <laughs> oh, whoa. Over the back. Yeah. No foul called. Coach Moore's begging for a foul there, and they, they can waste time. Oh, he's bringing, he's bringing back the llama. <laughs> <laughs> they drop the play, get the screen. He has Dredge in the far corner. Yep, they'll throw it to him. Oh, big loopy rainbow pass. It yep. almost gets stolen. Oh, my Under God. Oh, Dredge goes flying. Come on. And the other team helps him up. Good. Awesome sportsmanship yes. right there. That was Brady. We'll shout him out. Brady Paquette. His bra brother, Brandon, so has played very well. These... Uh, you know, I'm I'm glad you know he just he did that. Yep. Good sportsmanship is what I like to see in a game like this. And at the end of the day, these guys are just high schoolers, so you, you got to respect each other, right? And something like good sportsmanship, even just like the smallest amount of it, goes so far. It really does. Because really why does. why are these players here? They are. They're to have fun. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh boy. Carter Miller's out. Luke Coward and Tatsuya Guerrero as was. Well, Caden Manning is still looking to check in. They don't let him check in, though. The B squad is out. <laughs> they like bees, I heard. The bees knees. 
hey, the B team might be the dream team. Yeah, and you know what? This is respectful for both uh, teams. They both put in their kind of younger players to give them playing time. The starters are pretty much out. So good job by both coaches, you know, just being nice. Dredge, oh, nice steal over the travel. So, you know, number 23, Patrick Asargo, did get a steal there, but unfortunately he traveled and to be fair with him, he would have stepped over half court and it would have That's been That's true, it's gonna be one or the other. Yep. Just gotta plant your feet. Stand your ground. Manning will bring it up. Caden Manning, the man, the myth, the legend. Nice ball movement. Over to Luke Howard. Howard has Miller. He chooses to go to Tetsuya Goodrell and a steal by number 30, Daniel Perry. Oh, way out of bounds. Whoa. -ho. 102. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to shout out both uh, Coach George Morris and uh, Joel Aponte for, you know, putting in both their, you know. Letting everyone have fun. Yeah, we're having fun here. That's what we're having, right, Ben? And it doesn't help the team long term if you only have the best players play. Exactly. How do you get best players? By letting them play. And what happens when they graduate, Ben? Exa they're gone. They're gone. Now you're left with a B team, staying yep. a B team. Miller's but this got way, you can have two A teams. Yes. An A team and an A team. Ah, oh, 10 second violation, unfortunate for the Red Hawks as they could not. Let's see a good row. He was there, he just had to throw a pass and Manning was wide open uh, from Carter Miller, but he didn't Ooh, see him. Ooh, Coach Morris glaring. Whoa, <laughs> that is a tough glare. Uh, now seconds. he's animated. Yes. <laughs> 45 seconds remain here in Goodnow Gymnasium, 60-43, we'll see. Three ball is good! Daniel Fierney for deep ball. He put his heart and soul into that shot. Yes, sir, Manning. He's getting pushed around. We'll see. He pushes off. Good job by Manning sticking there. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. Ball's, ball's loose. loose. They can't. They got it. Ball's still loose. And, yeah, number 11 will pick up a foul. Brian Sutter is right in front of the ref. Only so. thing he could do. Like, there were two frontiers, and the whole team was on the other side of the court. And guess what, Ben? They're on the bonus, so Manning will shoot three throw. Woo! That is someone you do not want at the line. And Kenny Manning was on the mic last night with us as Hazen Smith was out and uh, doing some college tours. So, painting the town red, I hear. Yes, sir. Mm, not that quite. One. Almost went in. Yeah, but let's a little see less power. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if you can make this one. Twenty-four point nine seconds remain. Call it 25, right? Ah, that's what I got here. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. Manning, three points on the night as he goes one for two there at the three throw line. 61 46, 15 point lead for the Hawks. Ooh, and number 33 will get a basket. That's Jacqueline DiCarlo. On a steal. Oh, nope. Tatsuya, 10 seconds. Modesto up to Tatsuya. Tatsuya will bring it over half court. Five seconds remain. Tatsuya has Carter Miller over in the corner. Oh, oh my gosh. Just barely popped it out. 1.5 seconds. <laughs> 1.5. That's just a turn and shoot right there. Oh, where is it going? Where is it going? Man, man tripping <laughs> over himself, and out it goes. Frontier, they're going to win it at home. I'm happy, Ben. The blue shirt worked for us, the right? The blue shirt. And Ben Roberts on the mic. Here they I win. Am. Here he is. 61. So is the pink bad? Is that what we learned today? That is exactly what we learned. Not that the Hawks have put in an incredible well, amount of work. Yeah. But it's that you wore the wrong color yeah, shirt we, the other I, day. Yes, I did. I did. I should have worn the It's not that blue. they were practicing pretty no. much every day. Yes. Working their hearts out. Yep. You just wore pink the yeah, other day. Yeah, I wear pink. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the issue, clearly. Yep. Valentine's baby can't wear pink. No. Now, well, uh, maybe, maybe that one day yeah, you can wear pink. But they lost. The boys lost. It was Never mind. Yeah, Never mind. Can't wear. Pink is dead. Yeah, pink, the pink is, dead. is dead. It's blue, blue now. Blue all day, every day. And you know what, Ben? Know what also happened last night? What happened? Greenfield girls lost and Greenfield boys. Wow. So Frontier is our only hope in the Western <laughs> Mass. <laughs> okay. They're our only hey, hope. We're soaring high. That's why they're the Hawks. Yeah, we're the we're soaring like Red Hawks. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna quickly go through the score sheet, Ben, but uh, it was excellent to have you on the mic. Thank you for stepping up big, right? Oh, it's been great to be here, Tom. And you will definitely be back on the mic. <laughs> I will tell you that. I loved having I you. I feel like I'm gonna get bullied into it. You will definitely get <laughs> bullied into it. 61-48 uh, <laughs> is the final score here in Goodnow Gymnasium. Uh, we're gonna go over to the West Springfield Terriers first. You know, two some good players out there, uh, Judd. Daniel Gonzalez, he had three points in there and a couple rebounds, uh, as well as maybe a steal in there. 
Uh, Ryan Halan, he was a really good player. He made things happen. He has eight points on the night, maybe another basket in there. I lost a little bit track, track but uh, he's had at least four rebounds, two steals. Uh, and we'll go down the line. Anthony Cran had at least a couple of rebounds. Brady Paquette had three points, a three ball there. Uh, and Daniel Perny, he had three points as well as two rebounds and a steal. Cooper Smith had two, a basket and a rebound. Jerkeen DiCarlo had four points and uh, played excellent. Michael uh, Mahan had four points and uh, maybe a couple more as well uh, with three rebounds. So an excellent job there by the Terriers. Unfortunately, though, the Hawks won it. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> no slouches there. Yeah, no slouches. They, they played well. And I'll, I'll give the MVP for uh, West Springfield, the Terriers, was Brandon Paquette. He played excellent. He had 10 rebounds and 13 points, Ben. Oof. So, yeah, that will wrap them up. And we'll go over to the Red Hawks, who won tonight. Soared high, right? Oh, fl flying high. And I even see here, uh, over here with Owen, he's mm. running out of room on their point slot here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he, had, but he had a huge night. I, Absolutely. Him, him and Nico Fasulo. But I'd, I'd give the MVP of the game, Owen Babb, 20 points and at least 16 rebounds and two steals. <sighs> and a, maybe a block in there, too. Those <laughs> It's yeah. funny looking at some of these stats. Just nowhere near enough room. Yeah, Alex Ellis, he had three points, two rebounds. Sasha Dugitovic, the uh, the Dragon, had two rebounds. Maybe a steal in there. Modesto uh, had a lot of fouls, but he had a steal in there. No good for him. Yeah, yeah. Kane Manning had three points. A good night by him and oh, a absolutely. rebound. And uh, Millette, he had eight points. He went out with an injury. Hopefully he'll be back for the next game. Oh, I bet there's no way he's going to want to sit out here. He can. He will not sit out. Uh, rebounds, he had six of those at least. Tatsuya Goodrow had a uh, a Three point, or he had three points and two rebounds. Garrett Dredge had a bucket in there with three rebounds and a steal. And uh, yeah, Fasulo, he had 19 and four rebounds. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but uh, again, you know, Owen Babb and Dingo Fasulo leading their team, uh, you know, two captains. And uh, Millette, he is also a captain for the Red Hawks, but Fasulo being the senior there. An excellent good night here in Good Now Gymnasium, Ben. And uh, we're going to wrap things up for the final time. Tom Alber. Ben Roberts, Connor Mavius, and uh, executively produced by uh, Kevin Murphy down in uh, Colorado. <laughs> Breathing that out, dude. Sick.